Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I will be doing another unboxing and review on the Thermal Right Aqua Elite 360 AIO CPU cooler, guys. This is a liquid cooler. And guys, it's time to update my old stock cooler, my PC, because it gets up to 90 Celsius on temperatures when I play games. But right now, guys, we're going to be starting off with the unboxing. You guys can see the exact model over here. Of course, I will link this CPU cooler in the description if you guys are interested to check it out on Amazon. But without further ado, let's quickly start off the unboxing. If you open up the box, you're immediately greeted with the instructions and a bunch of other items. Now, it looks intimidating, but do not worry, guys. I'll walk you guys through the unboxing. That is the instructions. Then over here, you guys will see is another box. And it is kind of, it looks similar to the instructions, but is this is basically all your brackets and attachments you guys will need for if you have an Intel CPU or a AMD CPU guys. And also they include thermal paste, which is also good. But as you guys can see, there's a little bit of a few different brackets and parts over here. You guys can clearly see blue for Intel and red for AMD. And then of course we have the liquid cooler. Now I got a 360 uh, millimeter cooler which is kind of a little bit of overkill for my uh, CPU the Ryzen 5 7 600 but it's fine guys over here you also get this um, this is basically to plug into your motherboard to basically plug in all your fans for this uh, CPU cooler your some thermal paste that is included and of course the Intel brackets over here and then uh, different parts as well guys so I'm not gonna do a full installation guide for you guys since it's my first time installing this into a PC but I'll try to guide you guys through everything and I'll link at the end of the video I'll link a video you guys can check out for a installation guide for this but this is just a review to show you guys if this is actually good because I don't really see all that much other people telling you guys if the temperatures are actually good on the CPU cooler but as you guys can see this is the block make sure to peel off this plastic before using it on your CPU and uh, this is a very big CPU cooler as you guys can see bro I'm really impressed with it honestly and uh, it's really heavy so it feels good quality over here guys is my old Wraith Stealth cooler that we're going to be replacing that reaches 90 Celsius when I play games and it's it's really not going to be good with my Ryzen 5 7600 that is why I'm going to remove it I'm not going to this is not a guide guys this is just for your viewer satisfaction so you guys can see how I'm doing this but obviously I won't include the whole tutorial in this video because like I said I'm not a professional in this and I'll link another YouTuber's video at the end of this so you guys can check the installation guide if you guys don't know how to install it but this is just a little bit of a review to show you guys if this cpu cooler is actually good how it looks and how it performs in games and stuff over here you guys can see my pc is a little bit dusty and the old thermal paste doesn't look too good guys we're going to be having to clean this we're going to use some rubbing alcohol wipes as you guys can see and we're just going to clean the cpu like so and try to get as much of the leftover thermal paste as we possibly can luckily this is an am5 socket so the cpu doesn't come loose with the removal of the old cooler so yes it is finally time to show you guys the cpu cooler okay guys that is what i'm saying this is just a review but first off let me show you guys how it looks before we get into the detailed uh performance of this in a cpu this is how my pc looked before i installed this cooler as you guys can see it still looked pretty good but it it needed some extra rgb and lights it was a little bit on the darker side you guys can see and that is exactly why i decided with this thermal right cooler because i felt like it's gonna bring my pc to life and um yes guys so finally let's see how it looks on this my new setup so you guys can see i also adjusted my monitors a little bit so it's like a dual setup looks pretty cool i think so at least guys let me know in the comments and then guys the moment of truth this is how my PC looks now with the thermal right cooler. As you guys can see, it looks a lot better. Obviously, the cable management over there is not the best, but that's just my problem. I'm not pretty good at cable management. But we're going to get into Elden Ring right now, guys, in 1440p maximum settings right here. As you guys can see, my CPU is currently a nice stable 50 two degrees celsius it's kind of hovering over there in the 50 celsius also reaching 49 
pretty good. This is a very, um, this is actually the game I played that reached like 90 Celsius with my Ralph, Rafe Stealth Cooler. So the case, the fact that it's really reaching 51 is outstanding. For this CPU cooler, it's, I probably should have gotten a double one, but I just got the triple one because it was on sale as well. But be sure to check this out on Amazon, guys. You guys can see it is performing really well with Elden Ring and like the modern games like this. And uh, it looks pretty good on my PC as well. I really like the color of the white with the black case. It looks like a really cool Stormtrooper Star Wars vibe. So yeah, definitely check it out on Amazon, guys. And uh, obviously here is another angle of how it looks with a little bit more less lighting. You guys can also see it looks clean, it looks good. And also I didn't really experience any difficulty installing it. But I had to watch a YouTube guide. Because unfortunately guys I'm not the best with like PC installation. Even though I'm a technical TOG person I really do a lot of tech videos. Uh, this was a little bit uh, not something I'm used to. But do not worry. Over here in the right side corner is a video you guys can go check out. This is an installation guide for this very cooler. So you guys can go check that out and hopefully that will help you guys if you guys do not know how to install it. And yeah, this is basically the review and the unboxing. Hopefully this helped you guys out to you guys get an idea how it looks and what the temperatures you can expect with the CPU cooler. And um, yes, guys, keep in mind I do not have a air conditioned room. I tested it without any air, air conditioning. So yeah, there's that as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.